Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, grandiose day where, well, this isn't what we're looking for. This is. So, you know why I'm here. Oh look. 5k for 10 packs, or at least 7 spare packs plus a legendary skin. And 2.5k for 3 more. Alright, well there you go. That's two of the packs crossed off. For probably one of the best skins that Loba has. One of the weirdest skins that uh, Crypto has, but yeah, I'm going to use it because it looks just weird. And now, well, was there going to be doubt of this happening? Well, I have 20 event packs. I have 21. Should I just tempt fate and have some fun with this? Nah. I was going to say, pick an item out of here at random, and if I don't get that in 21 packs, then it's over. However, that's not going to happen, because I want the heirloom. It's not great, and I would have preferred a cursed tanto of some description, but the scythe does its job fairly well. So, eh, it'll do. Anyway, we all know what I'm going to get out of this. It's all here, so let's see if my luck is good or bad. Doesn't really matter either way, because I'm still getting the same results, but the additional content's always nice. Okay. Yeah, all right. Pretty strong start. Incredibly strong start, actually. That's probably one of my favourite skins of the event, because, you know, Death's Mask right there looks pretty intimidating. Valkyrie skin could have been worse. And then, of course, Quantum Chaos is generally okay. Is it worth being called the Legendary? Probably not. Look at it. It's not great. It looks just like the regular Havoc. It's just recolored somewhat. But it's a Legendary skin, and it's cost off the list of Legendaries that I have to get now. So, it's a win, really. Second rifle, not great. I get what it's going for, I just don't like it. Alright, not a bad skin for uh, Rampart, and genuinely not a bad pause for Fuse either. That's not bad. The event item couldn't have been much worse, but it's not bad. Ooh. I do like Refraction. Yeah, now this skin, this skin is just garbage. I understand the Gundam thing, but it looks horrific. Colours, colours everywhere, and not a single piece of sense in sight. And, uh But yeah, uh, Horizon skin for this event is probably the worst, and it seems to have put a lot of people off rather than getting anyone all over the place. Because there's no colour theme to it, that's why. Hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Ah, the weapon charm. The, uh, nobori. The flag that is carried upon in, upon one's back into battle. Can I get my words out today? Apparently not. What else we got? Another epic. Not the worst, not the best. Alright, fair enough. Probably the cutest hemlock skin ever. And probably one of the most annoying as well. Uh, you know, Jungle Frenzy for the uh, the vault looks nice. I actually like it. Still, aside from that one legendary Havoc skin, I haven't got much to brag about. Ooh. Now that banner pose I do like, but not more than personal touch. So unfortunately, you're sitting it out. Now this is actually somewhat decent, but the one problem I have is that one side... Well... Actually, no, they are actually mirrored properly. I could have sworn it was one side on this was a bit off, but I really like the colour scheme on this, so I'm going to use it. I wouldn't care, I've just customised my uh, Longbow's charm and everything to match with the skin I had before, but that is nice, so I'm swapping it out. Ah! 
the Mirage's punching bag charm. Good to get that out of the way. Cosmic Starlight, again, not the worst skin ever, not the best. I like the metallic sheen to it. But again, stars are maybe a bit of a touch out of it a little. Just looks like Mario, uh, Super Mario Odyssey stars at this point. And Woodland Warfare Crypto. Good for playing in Retro World's Edge, but not much good for anything else. To be honest... Wow, this is a good pack. To be honest, I'm just looking forward to see what uh, actually happens with the next event. Again, not something I'm overly enthused about. It's just... I don't know. Seems too similar to a few other things. Alright, hack the system for Octane isn't bad. And of course, the last finisher for Bloodhound. I think I'd prefer the other that I have equipped. So that's a bit of a bust. However, at least I have it now. It's crossed off the list. Also, I'm pretty sure the Epic is the event one, so... Okay, that's just a random legendary emote, which seems to go on forever. Fair dues. And the Skydiver emote, Hot Potato for Fuse, where he blows himself to pieces. And yet another skin that is remarkably similar. I'm getting all of the purples for Valkyrie, apparently. Alright, another epic. Huh. <laughs> That's actually not bad. I like it. Ah, uh, the Shuriken Showboat. It's... eh. It is literally just grayscale it, give it a pattern slightly, and then mobile shurikens on it. There's not really anything there for me on that one. For an epic event skin, it feels like that was just gap filler. Okay, here we go. This is a bit more like it. Now, a lot of people have condemned this skin, calling it basic. I think this fits with Bangalore quite well, because it is just traditional IMC soldier's garb. So it fits in with the law. It's all about, remember, Genesis, the whole, you know, regeneration thing, and how each generation of your own body is one better than the previous. And that kind of sums up a lot of generations ago. Nah, I think Tank's not really a great one. So, we've got about an equal number of legendaries to epics left. In fact, no we don't. We've got vastly more legendaries. So, on with the show. My luck hasn't been great today. And it appears it's not getting much better, really. Okay, that's not a bad devotion skin by any means, but I've got better. The uh, emote for Valkyrie messing around with a knife. Well... I think she does, doesn't she? Oh no, it's a B and never mind. And a bow check skin, which actually looks quite nice. Yeah, I'm equipping that. That looks nice. Couple of epics again, huh? Okay. VTOL, Jets Distance, Travel Tracker. Never going to use that one. And now we've got the uh, Mecha Horizon, which is just... Another, again, piece of garbage, in my opinion. Not exactly the greatest pack, despite being a double epic rare. Motherlord enemies captured, 26. And the bestial instinct. Yes, I kind of get it, the whole, like, you know, snake's mouth kind of motif going on here. But, again... It looks a bit like a misfit. Or is it supposed to be a dragon's mouth? Bit hard to tell for certain. Not a bad looking skin overall, but... I don't know. 
taking orders for after the game, fellas. We talking what? 60 stakes? If I've got nothing equipped, I might as well use it, right? Another legendary ticked off the list. What's it gonna be this time, Gibraltars? No, it's gonna be Valkyries. Honestly? Not the worst skin in the world. Although, given the fact you like to fly around with jump jets, maybe it is, because any kind of skirt slash dress slash, you know. Uh, is that really a kimono? I wouldn't say so. It's got an actual name, but for some reason the name eludes me. However, wearing something that short whilst you're flying around, bit of a bit of a risk. But I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on that, I think. Substandard skin and substandard skin. Moving on to the next of the packs. Gotta admit, I do like the design of the packs. Probably more than the design of most of the skins in them. Bangalore's G7. Now, this is a skin I do like. The military precision fashion of it just appeals to me. So, I'm going to swap it out and see how it works out. Uh, I want that equipping. Thank you. Because that is a pretty nice spray. A lot of you are going to wake up tomorrow with sore necks. Or, you know, be dead. Gives me a quip from Valkyrie, at least, I suppose. Ugh. Again. Horrific. I just don't like the design of this gun at all. Yellow snake for the bow looks alright. Mm. Yeah, you know what? That looks better than the winning hand. What else we got? An epic. Okay. Probably gonna be better than the legendaries I've got here. Yeah, because I like this. Just the classic, like, oh, I've been seen, and move on. Drinking cold ones before the match, making cold ones during the match. She's alright, this life. And not a bad skin for the... 30-30. Um, I'm going to keep the Wings of Salvo, though. I do like the Wings of Salvo skin for the 30-30. Hmm. There's the Gibraltar skin that I quite like. This is just actually really good for Gibraltar. Like, I get that more, like, more people again said, oh, it's basic. Yeah, but it's Gibraltar doing tea. This is just Gibraltar. Hands down. Probably ain't gonna help my uh, chances with him. And that's a rather nice skin for the 30-30 as well. Stop tempting me, game. You're giving me good skins here. Alright, what do we got? Thrusters Prime, the Valkyrie Banner Frame. Yeah, I might try that. The uh, Steely Dailies. And... Basic Horizon skin that actually looks quite nice. But I like Golden Boson, so that's unfortunate. And now we have the Golden Gubbins. Again, not a skin that I'm overly enthralled with because of the cloth wrap. It just looks baggy, makes the weapon look unnecessarily unwieldy. I mean, it looks decently cool, yes, but... Cloth? No. Ebony wood? Hell yeah. You should have gone with ebony wood for that all day. But you did. You went with that instead. And then I've got trial by fire as well. And last but not least, we have... Alright, fair enough. That's not exactly bad. It's one of Rampart's legendary skins. That nose piercing to ear piercing, that chain, really, really is just... To me, that is really something I would never, ever like to see. Because it is just inviting someone to grab that and pull it. 
I guess that's just the kind of people that I've grown up around would probably do that, so I'm always wary of it. It makes my nose hurt thinking about it. But that's where my brain goes. No one gives a crap who's better. All they care about is who's the best. And then finally we get best friend. Which is basically the Apex community's way of appealing to the furry fandom, I guess. I don't really know what they were going for with this massively, to be honest. It seems a little bit all over the place and just... I don't know. A little bit over the top somehow. And yet still underwhelming. I'm not quite sure how to explain it. Pathfinder's got many, many better skins. And now, the moment everybody's been waiting for... <gasps> That's cool. I like that. You don't want to see this up close, skin bag. Damn, son. And the heirloom. The dead man's curve. Of course I'm going to equip the thing. Have you seen it? It looks amazing, doesn't it? So what's that? Heirloom number four or heirloom number five? I honestly don't remember. Don't have Gibraltar's heirloom. Got bloodhounds. Got Bangalore's. Didn't. Don't have Octane's. Who else's did I have? I'm sure I've got... Right, yeah. Bangalore's, Bloodhounds, and Wraith's. Considering how fast I dropped Wraith, I'm reconsidering that was a bad idea. However, I now have my sub-mains heirloom as well. The Dead Man's Curse. Probably one of the best heirlooms that Apex has given. But in comparison to what they could have done... Disappointing. Then again, who's to say that it's only ever going to be one heirloom per person? You never know, do you? The rate at which they churn out these events. You can never be certain for too long. Can you? Well, that pretty much wraps this up. And I'm far too tired to play the game today. So until next time, and the end of this event, I'll be seeing you. But there is more to the story today. See, we also have these too. Where you get some Wraith themed packs. I know what I'm getting in for here. Same goes for Bloodhound. I prefer that look to a lot of the others. I have the money to spare. <laughs>